All right, so here's an example of how to make a figure in Excel with two separate Y axes, one on the left, one on the right, and not have the bars lumped on top of each other. Because if you were to go like this, so I've generated mean values, standard deviations, error values here. If I were to just choose these and say insert, and then a bar graph like this, I was to click on the second bar here and go under uh, series option and choose secondary axis, you see that they overlap one another here. So they're right over each other. So what we have to do is instead we have to put in some dummy spacing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole row here, this whole column here, I mean, and insert some cells here. So we're going to shift those cells right. We're going to repeat that one more time. So now when we go to insert our bar graph over here, we have these extra dummy variables in the middle here. We're going to choose this one, and we're going to put it on a secondary axis. OK, and now it's hidden for a second too. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to play with these series overlap values here, okay? And this is going to be for um, series male or series female. If we were to right click on the figure here, choose select data, okay? What we're not having here is we actually don't see those dummy values um, popping in here right now. So what we have to do is either their investigation number, investigation time, these two, what we have to do first is we have to switch the wrong column. So now what's happening is that they're on the left side here. Okay, so um, we're going to be able to manipulate these over here. So we'll click OK. And so what we can see is now we've already got a partial separation of these, but what we have is uneven kind of sizing of the bars. That's probably because of these dummy values in the middle having some strange values. So what you can do is you can, if you click on one of these, you can go up here to format and you can choose which series you're working with. So this is investigation number, then series two is the first dummy column, then series three is the second dummy column, investigation time is the third. So investigation time you can see is on the secondary axis here. We go here, we can see the third one being highlighted, it's blank. That's on the secondary axis, okay? The second one here, we can put that one on the primary axis to help space out our variables. And our investigation number is on the primary axis here as well, okay? And if we want to make this a little neater, we can play with the gap widths, for example. And so 219%, we can maybe take that down to 200 make those lines a little thicker, right? Make this one, same thing. Maybe take it down to 200. You know, in terms of the series overlap, you can play with those. You can play with it various ways to make the nicest figure you want. Now, what we're gonna have here is any sort of value. So investigation number you can see is, is a small value. Any numbers that are below 100, if all of the values are below 100 here, what I want you to do is I want you to choose, and you're gonna go under series options, and you're gonna choose the uh, vertical axis values over here, and click on the box for axis options here. I want you to put the maximum at 100, okay? And that's just so that everybody in the class is going to have the same looking figure to make it easier for me to grade. Normally, you wouldn't have a set value here. Now, these ones, if it's over 100 but below 1,000, we're going to give those ones, as you can guess, a value of 1,000. So this is going to be the secondary vertical axis. We're going to click the bars here, and we're going to choose the maximum value to be 1,000, okay? 
it's not the best looking in terms of this for your final projects. When you guys are turning that in, you'll get to choose your own heights. But just for all this exercise, I want to standardize it at 100 and 1,000, OK? Now, what we have to do is add error bars. So we're going to choose this first one here. So this is, again, relating to investigation number, OK? And we're going to go add chart element here. And we're going to add error bars, but we're going to choose more error bar options because Excel puts in error bars that are the same for each bar and that's not how it should be we want custom error bars they're custom calculated values for the positive and negative error bars here so positive is going to be uh, this range and negative is also going to be that range and you can see that the error bar for the females for example here is much higher than for the males they shouldn't be the same and what you want to do is you want to see that indeed for the females, it is a larger error bar here than for the males. We'll do the same over here where we'll add error bars, custom specify values, and select these error bars. And in this case, it's much greater error for the males the females and we'll again double check that to make sure the values look correct okay now this graph doesn't look so great what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do things like we're going to want to increase the size of some of these fonts maybe make them bold so they're easier for the reader to take in Okay, well, we can give it a chart title of some sort. That's optional. Lots of times you just give a figure caption. Um, if you're going to provide a figure caption, you don't need a chart title. But if you are going to uh, turn in a, just a list of figures for a certain exercise, then you'll want to have chart titles so we can see what those are. Over here, we'll want to uh, click on these intermediate boxes for these dummy variables and just take out those because we're not using those and we're just going to increase our font size here and make it bold for our labels of what these variables are so on the left we're going to have investigator number uh, sorry on the left we have females on the right we have males the blue is investigation number and the yellow is investigation time Okay, we we'll want to make these fonts larger too. Make it nice, you know, over here, what we can do is we can select this whole axis. We can format it and we can give it a shape outline of let's say a black line with a certain thickness. And see that gives it a nice kind of look to the figure we'll increase this one's thickness like this too now the error bars okay let's make those a bit thicker too so they're easier to see and we'll repeat the same for this one over here and we can even outline our bars the same way to make them easier to see i'm just choosing Control y to repeat for the other axis here the other boxes here um and anyhow i'll let you kind of play with this to a greater degree to make the figures as nice as you can but now you also have to click this axis here you'll have to go under chart design add chart element and add a primary vertical axis title and then on the other side you'll have to add a secondary one there so axis title, secondary vertical over here. So we'll have to label those, okay? Um, so hopefully that helps you figure out how to make your figures.